Uh, invite Jon Snow to court. He, he's way too young. <laughs> he's way too young. I, I, I can't invite him to court. I guess I could invite Viserys. But yeah. Can I be your Lord Treasurer? Because swag, bitches, and gold dragons. Of course you can. You could be my Lord Treasurer, of course. You seem to have the right sensibilities. I think time would completely agree with that, of course. Okay, righteous imprisonment. Amon Frey. God damn, Amon Frey. What are you doing? You're just a fool. I don't know how you got married to Jen. Are you in the war? Okay, it's f okay that means feudal. Okay, I thought it was the Night's Watch one just a second then. Um, your nephew, Lionel, is responding very well to the tuition. Lionel Frey. Okay, that's... No, you got to concentrate on Tyrion. Tyrion is the one. Apparently, we've lost temperate. Tyrion is no longer a temperate man. Today, my nephew, Cleos, asked me for a fee for his own to go. <laughs> Cleos Frey, are you bloody kidding me? You. I have to admit, actually, I've always liked Cleos Frey. I, I think I've said it a few times in different series that we've done. Cleos Frey, I feel, I wish he was on the show a bit more. I loved him in the books. It's kind of sad what happens to him, but, you know... It's just a sad thing. I don't. I know people are going to say, yeah, don't give him the land. Uh, he's not ready. I know people are not going to let me... <laughs> people are not going to let me give a Frey Castamere. But I like I like Cleos Frey. If I was playing myself, I for fun, I'd probably just give it to him for fun. For shits and giggles. Um, but, okay, Intrigue. 117%. So we do have a chance to get rid of Stannis. He's going to be a pain. We know he, he's too smart for his own good sometimes. He just He'll never bend. He'll just break. Okay, you you pregnant? She's still not pregnant. Okay, that's fine. She's nine years young, or eleven years younger than Ty uh, Tyrion. Ooh. Okay, she yeah, that is quite a big age difference. Why are you? Uh, why is your feudal one not like the Republic one? What the hell's going on here? What the? What the hell? Why is there different symbols for every single person? What the hell is going on here? Okay, that's normal. I'm sure I saw it someone on different on someone else. God damn it, I hate this sometimes. It was a fray, wasn't it? Yeah, the phrase had it like the Night's Watch symbol. And that was the Cleos fray. Let me have a quick look here. No, it's gone back to normal. Okay, just a glitch then. A few glitches still in this mod. Um, but yeah. Hornvel seeks to do this. Okay, a lot of intri little things going on. Nothing really spectacular. Uh, the factions. We've got a few for the Viserys faction. Uh, Balon Greyjoy has joined. Maybe we should join this faction. The Crown Loyalist faction. Obviously the Riverlands. Obviously the Starks. And obviously the Greyjoys. Interesting. Independence. Depose King Robert. Overthrow the monarchy of the Iron Throne. Hmm. None of those really intrigue me. None of those intrigue me for now. I'd like to get our own claim maybe on the Iron Throne at some point. And it looks like the Celticers are willing to get rid of Stannis as well. Excellent, excellent. Ally with the Starks, apparently. Uh, maybe. Benedict Broom has expressed a desire to get married. Uh, yeah, go on. Marry you, please. I don't care. I don't care at all. Okay, my son is getting better. He's actually got poor fighter at the moment. Which is still not good because he's still a craven. He's still 12 years bloody old. My son Tyrion does his homework and always on time for his lessons. Um, I'm a good mentor. Yeah, you should. I, I probably would do that, yeah, because I'm a diligent man. Let's do that then. Let's do that. King of the Rock. Yeah, a lot of people say I should go for independence. I don't know. Some people say I should go for the Iron Throne. And I think that's maybe a better. That's more like a Tywin thing. I don't think Tywin wants the Rock, Tywin wants more. I've had my eye on a feisty young scullery maid with huge uh, intellect for some time now. Though she skillfully dodges the attentions of every boy and greybeard at court, I have her blushing furiously. Oh, well, you know, that's, a, that's just the NG charm right there. That's the NG charm right there, working on every maiden in Westeros. Make her a lady and keep her as my mistress. Uh, bed her and make her mine. A common wench. I can do better. Yes, I can do better. Today, my brother Kevin asked me for fee for his own. Ooh, Kevin. Okay, so people might be okay with this. Okay. What does my council think? Should we give Kevin Lannister? Should we give him Castamere? What do people think? Danny can be Queen of the Rock. <laughs> seduce Walder Frey. I cannot seduce Walder Frey. It's impossible. One thing, uh, it would be impossible. Secondly, it, it's, it's Walder Frey. I mean, look at him. 
He's married to a Farron. Actually, who are all his wives? I wonder what... He married a Royce. I want to see, because I, I can't remember exactly all the families he married into. A swan. I did not know he married a swan. Interesting. He married a crack call. God damn, there is a lot of wives here. There's still more. He married a Blackwood. He's married every family. Um, some people are saying do it. No, do it. Give Castamir to Tyrion. Give him the High Lordship. Yes. Okay, a lot of people are saying give it to him. Let me just have a quick look here. A went as well. Is is that not all? He has more? Okay, that's the last one. A Rosby. Jesus, he married a lot of people. Okay, sounds like people are saying yes. Kevin Lannister, for your great work as my brother. Yeah, you're good at that. We're going to give you Castamir. Congratulations. Um, and people say I should give him the High Lordship. Yeah, we'll give him the High Lordship as well. It just makes sense if he has that. There we go. So we've now given him the High Lordship of Castamere. It just makes sense to give it to him. I'm going to keep, obviously, um, Castley Rock because that is our home. Kevin has good stats. Kevin has good stats and he's a good character, actually. I do have to admit, I do like him as a character in the books. Um, TV show? Eh, TV show is not exactly how I pictured him, but he's not bad. He's just not that good either. Um, Lucian Lannister. He's good at kind of stewardship. I could just make a good fighter, Lannister, though. Make another Jamie. La Let's go see if we can get educated by Jamie, actually. The Tawny of Castamere. So Kevin has invited me to the Tawny of Castamere. Okay, we'll go, yes. Um, but let's go get Jamie. Okay, where is it? The White Book. Where is Jamie? There we go. Is everyone just the ones we expect? Uh, Roland Storm, Mirren Trant. Yeah, kind of the ones you expect. Yeah, how about you educate him? Uh, where is he? Lucian, there we go. Where are you? There we go, Jamie. How about you educate him? He is a Lannister after all. You could make him into another Jamie Lannister. Very good, very good. Um, participate. Yes, I am participating, don't worry. Uh, to the chivalrous Lord Paramount Tywin, may you live in harmony and contentment. I would be willing to accept the boy Lucian here in Dragonstone as a ward of Lord Jamie Lannister, but only if a payment of coins provided to cover the expense of having him here. God damn it. Okay, this is... I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it. Just... We have a lot of money. Um, but damn you. So it looks as though Jamie's actually protecting Stannis Baratheon. And he's got married to Dana Went. Good for him. Good for him. Enjoy it while it lasts. Enjoy this money while it lasts, Stannis. Enjoy that money. Soon it will turn to pain and blood in your mouth. And apparently we're now ill. <laughs> that is bad timing. Um, proof that Sir Laurent of B-Town has been violent, viciously slandering me. Hmm, is this true? I'm not sure. The Lorch doesn't seem like... He's deceitful. We'll keep it to ourselves for now. I'm not sure if I trust it just yet. We've arrived for the tournament. Okay. You've been drawn against Sir Manfred Yu. Okay. That should be a good fight for us. I have 5.5. At the moment, I'm ill. He has 6. So steady the horse. And we've been hit. Okay, I managed to stay on, and we hit him. Come on. Damn it, he stayed on his horse as well. This you is more trouble than I thought. Okay, we got him again. A fine hit, I must say. Yes, we knocked him off his horse. I'm in declared the winner. Okay, who are we up against next? Daru Yorick. Okay, now this guy is a skilled fighter. Yeah, this guy's a, a much better opponent. We're probably going to lose this one. We'll see. And he's got me. And ouch, he got us off. Not surprising there, Yorick is a pretty good fighter, apparently. So there we go, we knocked out the tournament, sadly. Um, Lord Tiget Lannister and Doryu Yorick were the next to joust. And looks like my brother, Tiget, defeated him. I'm surprised that he's a skilled fighter. I don't remember in the books or the TV shows where he's been described as a great fighter, in particular. Maybe he's good at leading men, like a lot of his brothers are, but I'm not sure if he's good at fighter. And the two last remaining were Tiget and Gawain Hawthorne, and Gawain Hawthorne won, which surprises me. I could have, I could have defeated him. Uh, Tywin, I'm your long-lost uncle, and I want land. <laughs> no, 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 Wichter, uh, in the chat, you cannot have land. Tywin doesn't give land to anyone. Robert can see the future. What? Robert can see the future? I apparently we're alive. That's thank God we are. Jesus. Um... Is she pregnant? She's still not pregnant. Okay. 
So we could just kill all the Baratheons. <laughs> we could kill them all. We could, and then we can put Sir Pounce as the King of the Iron Throne, of course. Um, employee of Lord Torbert, and you would like to come join me. Well, you're a skilled fighter, you're quick. You got pretty good stats overall, Sarwick. Valar Hill, you're a bastard. You know what? Come join us. I have a lot of money right now. I'm willing to pay for you. Come join me. Come join me. And we'll see what we can do with you. Now, actually, can you do better for our son? You're actually about the same. God damn it. But he, he's got 21. So we'll go for that then. Uh, my confessor, Rohanna Tarbeck, is such an attractive woman. I've applied my ample charms and can tell she's thinking of other things than the crone. Give her a taste of what she is missing. Yeah. Okay, let's give her a taste of what she's missing. We'll sleep with Tarbeck. <laughs> Might as well. Enlist Jamie's help to kill Stannis. Well, it, it would it would do automatically if we can, because it should just add him automatically, unless we have to pay him. Which we can have a quick... Okay, apparently he's not willing to join. It's not even there as a choice. Why is that? Invite to plot. No, so yeah, apparently he will not join our plots, but yeah. Uh, kill that Talbot core. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, my confessor. Um, she's. Oh, we had the same. This is a different one. It's the same one. No, it's a different one. It's another Tarbeck. It's a different. Okay, we'll sleep with both of them then. Fine. We'll sleep with both the sisters. <laughs> we'll sleep with both of them. The two Tarbeck sisters. Tywin slept with both of them. <laughs> um, Tywin must name his next child Ares. No, I don't think so. I found out Shira Crackhall might fancy me. She's married to Damien Lannister. Make a move. I mean, I'm not I'm not off making a move of my son's whores, so why would I not be off against making a move against her? We gave her a good tumble. Tyrion asks, why do you let off that peasant accused from poaching? Because he needed a deer more than me. A good deer in a day keeps a man happy. A good deed a day keeps the man happy. Really, both of them are not Something I think Tyron would say at all. Um, I, I feel like this one, because I feel like what he's trying to say is that, uh, you know, by doing a good thing for him and keep him happy, that keeps the people happy, that means we keep power. So I'm going to go for that. Even though it's stupid because it makes him arbitrary and I don't think time would make him arbitrary. I don't know. Really, both choices are not what I'd think would go for it. But yeah. So yeah, I agree here. Yeah, he wouldn't offer any peasants. Um, I wish I had the honour of sending my child Lancer to you in Castle Rock. You're going to send me Lancel Lannister. Ah, little Lancel Lannister. Yeah, well, we'll take this little boy on. What type of man will he grow up to be? Will he grow up to be a great warrior? Will he grow up to be a member of the King's Guard like Jamie? Will he grow up to sleep with his cousin? Who knows? Or will he grow up to be a holy man who kills people because they don't agree with him? Who knows what will happen? Um, he would like to marry Jane Lannister. Hostine Tully. Yeah, go on. Marry her. Jane Lannister's dumb. Look at her. Look how stupid she looks. I don't like her. I don't like her face. I'm sorry, Jane. It just has to, it just has to be said. It just had to be said. Someone's saying Lancel, happy face. I know some people do like Lancel. Have to admit, um, I, I, I don't mind Lancel as a character. I think he's an interesting character. Lancel Lannister. Gods, what a stupid name. Yes, I agree. It is a dumb name. <laughs> um, Lord Leo the Golden Tooth has given me bizarre reports of evidence. Fang Tower. Um, we'll keep this to ourselves for now. Oh, Gregor the Mountain that Rides is dead. He died in an accident. I guess Sander maybe killed him. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the culmination of your life's work and the legacy of House Lannister will be inherited by a bastard dwarf. What? A bastard dwarf? Uh, he's not a bastard, but I guess you mean just a... Like bastards, how we meet a bastard these days, like a, oh, that bastard. Dorf. With appropriate status, I could dismiss a member of the King's Guard. Hmm, my son Jamie shall be my heir. So it looks as though I'm allowed to, uh. It looks as though Robert has given us the choice to take Jamie off the King's Guard. My daughter Cersei shall be my, inher my heir. That seems like a terrible idea. That doesn't seem like a terrible idea. The Dorf is my name, but will never have Casterly Rock. Um, he gains the trait disinherited. 
Okay, so we can disinherit him. That means it will get a Cersei anyway. The laws of the Westerns will remain. The dwarf has proven himself. My small council. What does my small council think? Should we make Jamie the heir or should I keep Tyrion as my heir? What does my small council think? We've been given this great opportunity here. Someone said make Jamie. Someone said do it, but I don't know which one you mean. Make Jamie the heir, make Jamie the heir. Um, God, Elena, and Tywin's children would be genius, deceitful plotters. Yes, oh, what, a, what a horrible marriage that would be. Make Jamie the heir. Tyrion, Jamie, Jamie. A lot of Jamies here, actually. Tyrions? I thought a lot more would go with Tyrion. There's a lot of Jamies. Disinherit, Jamie. I, I feel there's a lot more Jamies at the moment. No, no. Tyrion is now making a trump comeback. May have literally been a bastard. I, I know that Tyrion may have been a bastard, actually. But, you know, we're not going to go with that because that's kind of one of those unknown things. We don't actually know. There's not enough evidence to prove it to us yet. I'm not... I think there's some good points. Like, I, I like the bit about the whole eye thing is two eyes. That is a really good point. I like that part of it. Um, some nice little things, which would be kind of cool. Damn, it's really... People are really... It, it kind of looks like it's in between. Definitely seems like it's really... Basically even between you guys. You're really both like both of them. Fuck it, just kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe that is the most simple way. Hmm. Well, you know what? Because I think you guys are kind of both of them, you've gone for both of them, I'm going to um, role play. So I'm going to go for Jamie. I think Tywin, yep, as someone just said, Tywin would, jump, uh, uh, Tywin would jump at the chance to get Jamie off the King's Guard. So I'm going to have to go for Jamie, guys. I'm sorry. I know some of you be upset about that. You all want Tyrion. I know people love Tyrion. I do love Tyrion as well. No, I know a lot of people like Jamie as well. So I'm actually, I'm not, I'm not really surprised that she was kind of even. But I'm going to have to go for the roleplay aspect then. So there we go. Jamie is now my heir. And Tyrion is still married to Daenerys. I might have to change that. But we now have Jamie, who we can marry now. We could marry him off right now to Marjorie. Or someone else. You know, I could marry Tyrion to Marjorie and Jaime to Daenerys. Yes, I like those odds. I like those odds. That's what I'm going to do. Um, a lot of people are very upset. <laughs> One person said unsubscribed. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I have to stick to roleplay if it's in between. I said that many times before. If it's kind of in between, people can't, you know, the chat can't decide. It has to go for... There's only one way I can do it. I have to go for roleplay aspect then. I did that with uh, Rob Stark as well. Yeah, I'm going to get that one done. We're going to get Tyrion betrothed to Marjorie. So we can get a good ally. 